would have ever thought here we are in 2021 and we're talking about the Beatles versus the Rolling Stones. Uh, I, I didn't think something like this could happen. Uh, and here with Sun Media columnist Brian Lilly uh, to break it all down. Uh, the Beatles have a new documentary coming out. Brian, the Beatles get back. It's directed by Peter Jackson. I know you're excited for it, but I know you also have some feelings about the Rolling Stones. So I want to get your take on this. Well, look, I think this has been a debate that's been going on since uh, my parents were young people. Uh, and they're in their 70s now. And this is the kind of debates they would have had in his, you know, late teens, early 20s. But we're still talking about it now. One, because the Rolling Stones are still out on tour. And two, because of the documentary. And I guess Paul McCartney coming out and saying that the Rolling Stones were never really nothing more than a blues cover band is a way to remind people that, the Beatles are there and hey, this documentary is coming up on Disney Plus. So, hey, not only watch it, but stream some of my music. So, you know, it, I'm entertained by it. Um, but, you know, I do think a bit of this is all about sales. I, I'm going to disagree with you, though, because I know where you stand on this. I don't think Paul McCartney's wrong. And I don't think Roger Daltrey from The Who was wrong when he called them a, what would he say, a pub rock band? A mediocre pub rock band uh a pub cover band uh you know you know what though brian i mean listen the stones they just they're still out on tour they're touring america right now playing big football stadiums eighty thousand seats uh and the stones is a band that's played in seven different decades that's pretty incredible uh one of the things mick jagger has said about the beatles is that the beatles never became that big stadium band they never had a chance uh they broke up in the 70s uh I think one of the funny things, just to jump off something you said, is how as far back as the 70s, you know, John Lennon was saying, you know, everything that the Beatles did, Mick does exactly the same. Uh, he said Mick's a joke. He said the Stones aren't in the same class as the Beatles. But listen, the Beatles didn't continue past a Let It Be. And so it's, it's an argument that's, that's really never going to get settled. Well, you, I think you've got to look at them from two different perspectives. You're right. The Beatles were never the big uh, stadium act. I mean, they did play some stadiums, uh, Shea Stadium's famous concert, uh, Candlestick Park in San Francisco. Uh, but the sound systems were horrible back then. You couldn't hear over the girls screaming. So essentially, it was just a, a place to go and scream. And, you know, I've talked to my mother. She's been to concerts like that for the British Invasion bands back in the 60s. And I know those sorts of scenes happened. Uh, by the way, just an aside, my parents were also at the Blackpool riot where the, the Stones were chased off stage when uh, there was an unfortunate incident involving some Glaswegians. Let's just put it that way. But they're very different. The Beatles were incredible in the studio. And even though I love a lot of great Stone songs, they were not the same when it comes to studio albums. They were not... Um, in the same league as the Beatles in that sense. So they're two very different acts. The weird thing is Roger Daltrey from The Who inserting himself into the middle of this fight because I don't think they're going out on tour anytime soon. They don't have new material, um, but you know these acts wanna keep going. I can't believe that people are still paying to go see the Stones at this point. Uh, you know, it, it, the band is effectively now just Mick and Keith because when you look at their rotating lineup over the years, they just keep going. And, and now Charlie's gone and they're still going to keep going. Now, that part I find a little bit bizarre. Uh, they were a great band in their day, but maybe just leave it up to the documentary makers now. Uh, Brian, I, I got to challenge you, though. The next time the Stones come through, you got to see them musically. They're still tight. Uh, the songs uh, still sound fresh to me, uh, even though I didn't even hear them the first time they came out, many of them. Uh, one of the cool things I think about the Rolling Stones is that they keep coming back and they keep trying to entertain new generations of music fans. I don't think you're going to be able to say that about uh, artists of today. I mean, it, are people going to be lis listening to Lady Gaga seven decades from now? I don't know. All right, Brian, thanks for sharing your thoughts on this. You be sure to let us know what you think down below. Beatles versus the Stones, who do you got? Uh, who made the biggest impression on you? And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.